Yo, what is up guys? Umbrella is finally coming very soon in this game. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about the two latest news about Umbrella, if you haven't known already. The first one is on her relic of availability. So if you were here for Annie or Fuqua's launch, you, this should be very, very familiar to you. But if you are new, um, you might want to watch this video or head to the link down in the description below to read more about how she will be available when 5.0 launches. So here's the thing, when 5.0 is released, Umbrella is in the game, but she will not be available in standard relics. That means if you have been saving relics like I have, I have like 500 relics in the my back pocket right now, do not open them because Umbrella will not be available there. This is very important guys. Umbrella will only be added in these relics when 5.1 launches. And the reason why is because of course with every new character launch, um, the developers want to get a bit more income. And that's why Umbrella when 5.0 is released will only be available in two kinds of relics which can be purchased in the store. The first one is the Peckish Premier Relics and these have twice the odds to get Umbrella. It's honestly just a normal Premier Relic with Umbrella added into the pool for these relics. You can buy these relics for 150 Theonite in the store, so if you've been hoarding up a lot of Theonite, feel free to spend them for these relics. Now I just gotta say that even though the odds are twice for these relics, we do have 15 characters now and the odds is still quite low, so be sure you know what you're getting at. I made a rough calculation and this could be false, I do not have any data or knowledge about this. This is just assuming that every character is distributed equally. With twice the odds, you have a 13% chance to get Umbrella from this relic. Again, do not quote me on this, this is just a rough calculation, I have no data to back it up and I could be completely false because this is assuming every character is distributed equally in these relics, which could be wrong. The developers could put like a specific percentage chance to get Umbrella in these relics that we do not know. These relics will also be available in the Cabinet of Curiosities, so make sure you log in every day, check it out every hour or so, and if you see any of these relics, hurry up and snatch them up to get a chance to get Umbrella. Now the second type of relic is the Hangry Relic, and this is your typical character relic which will guarantee an Umbrella character when you open them. These will be available via a variety of offers after 5.0 launches, and I'm assuming this will mostly be um, an in-game purchase. So if you're willing to spend money on this game, this is the relic you want to buy to get guarantee yourself an Umbrella Fighter. Hangry Relics will also be added to all Fighter Variety Pack offers after 5.0 launches. So you know the 10,000k uh, Theonite offer which gives you like th tens of relics for every character? The Hangry Relic will also be included in that. And as with any, Umbrella's price fight and character relic is not scheduled until 5.1. Again, you cannot get this relic easily until 5.1 launches. You can only buy this, this relic in the store via in-game purchases. So unlike the Premier Relic, this relic is also not available in the COC, the Cabinet of Curiosities. However, you can buy Umbrella special moves, blockbusters, and skill points in the Cabinet of Curiosities but they are again not available in all move relics until 5.1. And interestingly, her daily event will be available every Saturday once 5.0 launches. So this is a great place to earn special moves, blockbusters, and skill points as well. So that is the details for Umbrella's relic availability and release. If you want to read more about this yourself, head to the description below and there's a link to the forum post to confirm yourself about the information that I'm spreading. Okay guys, so next is the trailer and this just dropped last night on Umbrella's first ever trailer on her gameplay in this game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and analyze and I'm gonna stop at certain points to highlight certain things that I think is quite useful and interesting to know about her gameplay in this game, which she will be released very soon. Um, we're just gonna start with watching the whole clip. 
and then I'll pause at certain points during our second watch of this clip. Fighter reveal, Umbrella Salty is the name of the bronze variant, and this is a light variant. Okay. Spoonful of sugar and a pinch of salt. That is so strong. I think Umbrella is gonna be so powerful. Okay, first things first. Okay, let's pause here. You'll notice on the left side here, this is the hunger meter. So in second encore, Umbrella's gameplay revolves also on this hunger meter. And what it does is that it is it denotes the state of hunger's hunger. When she eats an enemy, it's gonna fill up into this blue stuff which is overstuffed, and then it's gonna do a variety of effects depending on the stage that she's at. We also have confirmation that there is a silver dark umbrella and a water silver umbrella as well. What else can we figure out here? There's three special moves here. One is a command grab, I think, and of course a blockbuster too, which is tongue twister that's gonna be played in the gameplay. So temper tantrum is the ability for umbrella salty here. She gains Enrage and Blessing when she blocks? Probably when she blocks. Yeah, I think it's just when she blocks and she just gets hit by blocking. Um, that sounds like a really powerful ability. Just three stacks of Enrage like that? That's quite strong. So this is the special move. Um, th again, the bleed is caused by her ability, Temper Tantrum. And it's five stacks of bleed from a single special move. That sounds really powerful. That sounds really cool. We got this thing also overstuffed damage up. So you'll notice that once Umbrella ate Parasol, this hunger meter went up to the blue zone here and this is called overstuffed and you get bonus damage apparently. So this is probably her launcher. That sounds really strong. So this is her blockbuster. Tongue Twister, and this blockbuster inflicts a new debuff called Slime. We don't know what that does yet. And you'll notice when she used Slurp and Slide, it also inflicts Armor Break here. That's over. Now back to business. So that's all about we can find out. So we know about her character ability, which is the Hunger Meter. Um, there's three states, the red, yellow, and blue zones. She's currently at the yellow zone right now, and when she gets into blue zone, you get damage up. We get um, a gameplay on her two of her special moves, and one blockbuster, and also a sneak peek on the silver variants. So these trailers will drop every single day. We'll probably get one today, another one tomorrow, and so forth until all the umbrella variants are revealed. So that's about it. Oh, I'm so excited to try her out. She looks really, really cool. And that, I think the last special move that she didn't use is probably her burst. All right. Okay, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. This is just a small little teaser on news for Umbrella's upcoming release. Be sure to follow the Skullgirls Mobile official Twitter, Discord, YouTube, whatever all their social media links so that you can get to see the trailers when they do drop. Um, we will be expecting more of these to come soon for every single variant that's going to be released. And yeah, Umbrella's coming out very soon. Super excited. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.